We were joined this morning by Randy Jinks, who's a, a candidate for probate judge in Tyler Dick County. Randy, good morning. Good morning, Jimmy Dale. Hey, it's, it's been a long campaign, hasn't it, man? It has. It's, you know, it, mine basically started right here. Yep, you sure had me did. on the Friday after I qualified, and uh, here we are on the day before, and it's going to be hot, and I'm going to be out there in it. You know, uh, as we draw closer uh, to the primary voting tomorrow, uh, you're at peace with with uh, whatever happens in the election. Oh, you expect, ab- you expect to be uh, uh, the Republican candidate, but uh, you know you've done all you can do. I've, I've done all I can do physically. At the end of the day today, I will have, and then I've done all I can do with my financial resources. And, you know, I just pray that the good Lord's will will be reflected in the vote. Mm-hmm. And if that's the case, then we'll all be okay. But... Uh, yeah, uh, win, lose, or draw uh, tomorrow evening when the polls close and it's all announced. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be a happy person. Republican and Democratic primaries are tomorrow. Of course, uh, the polls open at 7 o'clock and close at 7 p.m. Uh, what have you found in, in recent weeks being on the campaign trail for probate judge? I have found out that a lot of people have dogs in their houses. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm, I'm shocked. You didn't, you didn't get chased by a dog, did you? No. Uh, you know, when I first got involved politically in the 80s, dogs were outside. Now people keep dogs inside. I don't know if it's ordinances or what, but usually before you push that doorbell, the dogs are barking. But uh, I've learned also a lot of people work. There's not as many people at home as there were, say, 30 years ago. Uh, people that are home are eager. They're polite, and they talk to you, and... Uh, they welcome you in. They give you a bottle of cold water or some uh, Gatorade if you need it. And, uh, you know, it's been it's like I told you when I come before. I've been able to uh, get reacquainted, renew mm-hmm. some old acquaintances and make some new ones. And, uh, I mean, I've knocked on a lot of doors. It's a big county. Tyler is a long county. And, uh, and I know it may be old school to knock on doors, but uh, that's the only way I know to really let people know that I want the job. You know, I, I'm not running for a title, Jimmy Dale. Why do you want the job? I, well, I enjoy public service. You know, obviously, I've, I've been in it all my life. There's a great deal of personal satisfaction I get from helping somebody. Mm-hmm. And uh, I've been posting on my Facebook page little stories I've seen of some things of that. that have happened through the years. And I posted one last night about uh, Bob Ingram up in the uh, in East of Bogan. I encourage everybody to go to my Facebook page. It's just Elect Jinx Judge and read the stories. Uh, when I help somebody, I don't know who gets the most benefit out of it, them or me, because I really get a, a lot of pleasure out of helping them. And that's what public service is about. It is a sacred trust mm-hmm. that's given by you, the voters, to the candidate that you select. And it, I say sacred because you place your hand on the Bible and you take an oath. You don't do that with most jobs. And uh, I just want this opportunity to continue this uh, sacred duty of serving the people of Talladega County and helping others. And uh, with your support and God's help, I'll make us a good probate judge. Would you have considered uh, getting in this race if uh, longtime probate judge Billy Atkinson was still available to uh, uh, run? No. And I would be at home weed eating today and cutting grass. <laughs> Because Billy's a, he's very strong. He's done a a, a, a real good job, and uh, he's a nice guy. Have you have you had an opportunity to talk to him, or would you talk to him? Well, as I, far? I, ta- I had a nice conversation with him before I ever made mm-hmm. this decision, mm-hmm. and I've talked to him on one occasion during the campaign. And uh, Billy is the consummate politician, but he's a nice guy, and he understands public service. Mm-hmm. We, we, you know, I would imagine, out of all the candidates running. I'm the closest thing to a Billy Atkinson as all the rest of them because we sort of backgrounds are similar. Uh, we campaign similar. Uh, we, 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 we just like to hip in people. Now, uh, for those of you who still have not made your decision about who you may vote for uh, on tomorrow's probate judge of Tyler Dick County, uh, you go back a lot of years in public service in Alabama. Talk about that a little bit. Well, I figured it up, and it's Altogether, it's probably 20, 25 plus years. I tell you this, Jimmy, it's more than all the other candidates put together. Mm. Uh, started back in 86. And actually, actually, I think I told you I started when I was 10 years old. Made homemade signs, put them up on my dirt road. Uh, but in 86, I ran for county commissioner and got elected. I've been chairman of our Republican executive committee on three different terms. Served 12 years in uh, state government with uh, Governor Riley. Six years in a congressional office doing constituent service work, uh, helping people. Uh, 
It's, uh, it's, it's been a lot of experience. And, I mean, you, you, you've got to have a, something special inside mm -hmm. you that makes mm -hmm. you enjoy helping people. And like I said earlier, I'm not running for the title. I actually want the job. Uh, and I really don't like the term Judge Jinx. I've asked some people, I said, just call me Randy. That's all I want to be. Call me Randy, your friend. And, uh, and I'll work hard and I'll be full time. I don't fish. I don't hunt. I don't golf. Uh, one thing that uh, Billy Axon did uh, stress to me was we have to have a full-time probate judge in this county. It's just too big and there's too many people and the demands are so. Uh, we've got to have somebody that's going to give that attention to our citizens. And, and I, I think I'm the best candidate to do that. Uh, in the office of probate judge, what does that entail? What, what all happens through the probate, probate judge's office? Well, you know, a lot of people associate with where you go to file your, your will and your deeds and your mortgages. But... The, the probate judge is the chief election officer in the county. He's responsible for the municipal, the county, the state, and the federal election. That entails the equipment, the ballots. A big part of it is personnel, making sure the poll workers are trained. That's one thing that I want to try to do is encourage some of our younger people to get involved in this process. Jimmy Dale, when you go vote, you'll notice most of our poll workers are senior citizens. Oh, yeah. And they need some help. Yeah. So I, that's something I'd, I would encourage. We lost Glenda Ivey not long ago. Sure she was did. a long she, time. She, she had been dedicated for so many years to the to the election process here in Tyler County. Uh, committal hearings is something that I would take real, real seriously, and it would be, take a lot of thought and prayer. You know, when a person has reached the state mentally that they could in, be in danger to themselves, mm -hmm. then you have to decide whether you need to find them a place mm -hmm. where they can be taken care of and they can't hurt themselves. And then you got to appoint a conservator to look after their finances as well. So that's, that's a huge responsibility. Um, adoptions start in the probate office. Name changes start in the probate office. If you want to get married, it starts in the probate office. Mm -hmm. The state's still in the marriage business, even though last year they, 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 they discussed maybe getting out of that. But it's a full functioning office. We have an office here in Sylacauga and one in Talladega. Have a huge staff. Uh, I have no plans on changing staff. I think Billy's done a great job. I think the staff works well together. It's all about providing service for our citizens. And their experience, you know. That's right. And if you disrupt that, you disrupt the service. Mm -hmm. I've had several conversations with Ms. Patterson. First conversation I had with Billy, I said, well, would your chief clerk want to stay? He said, I think so. I said, I, I beg her to stay mm -hmm. because she gets me through that learning, learning mm -hmm. curve. You know, none of us that are candidates have ever been a probate judge. So we've all got a learning curve to go through. Mm -hmm. You know, you may have been in the probate office on this side of the counter doing work or something, but serving and, and, and performing work on duties on this side, we've all got a learning curve to go through. But I've, I'm a quick learner. I work well with people. And uh, I'm just real anxious to, at, at the opportunity, if the good Lord sees fit to me, I'll be the one. Randy Jinks, uh, candidate for probate judge in the uh, Republican primary. Tomorrow polls open at uh, 7 o'clock and close tomorrow at 7 p.m. And uh, today is really the final day of campaigning as, as we know it for the uh, primary tomorrow. And you'll hit the ground running as soon as you leave here this morning. I am uh, going door to door today till probably 6, 6.30. I, I don't know how many thousands of doors I've knocked on. But you can, and I can actually campaign through the day tomorrow, mm -hmm. but... Uh, the law requires you can campaign as long as you stay, I think, 30 feet from the entrance of the yeah. polls. But, Jimmy Dale, I'm a little old school, and I'm a little old-fashioned. And I think on Election Day that people need the solitude of going in and making, making their, their decisions. So yeah. I'll have some signs up, but you won't see me outside any mm -hmm. of the polling places. I'll, I'm going to respect the voters and let them make their decisions tomorrow. And I just hope that we've been able to get our message out there and that, and that we've been able to instill in them the desire, the sheer desire that I have to serve and be there 100 percent of the time and you know, be full time and get the job done for folks. And uh, looking looking back at when you started the campaign uh, and knowing the length of our county and the number of challenges that one faces when they're campaigning, it's not easy as people think it might be. No, it's an awesome responsibility, and I'm you know I am happy with the, our effort, but I'm not satisfied mm -hmm. because. There's literally hundreds of places that I could have gone, but I just literally don't, you just physically don't have the time. And uh, so as, as a politician, you know, I hate to be called a politician because some people just like being called a car sales or something. And people just sort of 
assume the worst when you say politician. But as a candidate, you uh, you just you can't ever be satisfied. You can be happy with the effort, and I am. I think our effort's been as good as anybody's, perhaps better on door to door, uh, trying to reach people. But uh, you're never happy and, uh, until you reach the very last voter and shake their hand and ask them for the consideration. You can't really be happy. Now, uh, I mean, satisfied. You're you're a, a name that is well known in Talladega County and in the state government as well. As a matter of fact, uh, Governor Ivey recognized you at an event a couple of weeks ago. She did, and I was pleased. Uh, when I worked in Montgomery, on several occasions, when I'd be going over to see the governor, I, I have run into Miss Ivy, and we would sit down on the bench there in the rotunda where Lurley and Wallace is bust is at, and, and have a, just a conversation. When Governor Ivy was sworn in as treasurer, uh, Governor Riley was being sworn in as governor, and when she gave her, when she took her oath, she put so much emphasis on it when she said, so help me God, it was almost like a declaration. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, yeah, I was able to, second one able to, to meet her the other night, and I said, Governor Ivey, uh, do you remember me? She said, yes, Randy, but it's been a while. Mm. So, yeah, I was pleased that uh, she remembered our conversations and from the past, and she did a good job that night. Uh, with the uh, primary tomorrow, and uh, I saw a note this morning about the projected turnout in Alabama, 25 to 30 percent, I think it was, and... Uh, uh, you know, we want to urge people to go to the polls. You're, you're either going to vote straight Republican or straight Democrat. You can't, you can't cross over during the primary. No, this time you, the crossover law requires that you declare you want to vote in the Republican primary or the Democrat. You have to do the same thing in the runoff. But then in the general election, it opens up again mm -hmm. and you vote for whoever you want to, Republican or Democrat. And then when the next election rolls around, you can declare another party if mm -hmm. you want to. I mean, you're not bound to vote straight Republican for the rest of your life. So it's, it's a little different and it has been a little bit confusing to some people, but uh, I think it's fair. I mean, people involved in the Republican Party and the Democratic parties don't want the other side interfering mm -hmm. in, their, in their elections. I, I saw uh, yesterday, I think it was, a story in the Daily Home newspaper about the probate judge race was uh, the most contested uh, of any of the races, it's quite crowded. Well, it's it's one of the few that have got enough opposition in to, to, for everybody to get out. I mean, some of the county commission races didn't even have any opposition. Mm -hmm. So maybe maybe we'll drive the voters. I, I typically think it's the upper tier races that really get people to the polls, mm -hmm. the, the governor, the lieutenant governor, because people have seen and, and perhaps become saturated with those races that they are ready to go vote and get it over with. You know, I had somebody ask me a couple weeks ago, I said, do you think anybody might run an ad on your, in your race? I said, no. I said, that ad time has been bought up for months yeah. for, for our statewide races. So, you know, it's, it's, it's getting to the point where people are a little bit tired of the commercials, and I think we're ready to go vote. And, and uh, like I said, I just hope the good, Lord, good Lord's will is reflected in the vote and that we get the best candidate for for each position, and in my particular race, I feel like I got more to offer than anybody else. And of course, uh, we want to urge you to to vote tomorrow. And the absentee votes uh, ended uh, over the weekend on Friday, I think it was. But uh, yeah, for people who might think, well, uh, everybody is spending everybody else's money; they're not spending theirs uh, in local races. Uh, it's is driven by candidates just like Randy that desire to serve our local community and uh, you know a lot of dollars come out of your own pocket. I can attest to that. You got your credit <laughs> union right now. They're praying I win so I can pay off <laughs> pay off my my loan. But that's uh you know it's like I told you when I first come in here, Jimmy Dale, when the first of the year rolled around I had no intentions of running for I thought my politicking days were over mm -hmm. with. This became a calling and as it got closer and closer to that qualifying deadline. Uh, I struggled with it. I think I told you I lost about five pounds that week. Uh, I really felt like it was a call and I feel like this is something the good Lord wanted me to do. Uh, I've come to the conclusion that I, he either wants me to win or he wanted me in the race to have a bearing on who does win. So that's the way I look at it. And I've, uh, I haven't rested on my laurels. 
I didn't just put my name on the ballot and say, well, the good Lord's going to control this because he helps them sure. who helps themselves. Yeah. And I have got, I've been to your house. I've been to that community across the road from your house. And I've knocked on a lot of doors. And, I've, you know, I'm real. I'm happy with my effort. If I had another week, I'd be even more happy. All right. Well, let's. Uh, but I am polls. glad it's coming to a head. Let's go to the polls and vote tomorrow. I, I, I want to encourage everybody to go out. And it's a, you know, it's a privilege to go vote. It's a, it's a, it's a duty. A lot of countries wish they had the opportunity to go mm -hmm. vote. And I encourage everybody to get out and exercise your right to vote regardless who you vote for. But I also want to ask you to vote for me. Randy Jinks, probate judge, Talladega County, on the ballot tomorrow in the Republican Party. Randy, always a pleasure to see you. Thanks Jimmy for coming. Jimmy Dale, always good to be here, man. All right, Hope, good luck, good if luck I, tomorrow. If I get elected, I'm at your disposal anytime you need me. All right, sounds good. More Daybreak right after this.